It's Wake Up with Anthony Tilley across the central wheat belt. Well, one of the big technologies in agriculture that's going to be for the future is drones in agriculture. We're going to be talking about the best examples of drone use that are being able to survey vast areas to check on crop health and yield, monitor weeds, look, all kinds of stuff. I'm talking with futurist Shara Evans. Thanks for giving us the time today, Shara. Hi, Anthony. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you again. Now, you know, being in a wheat belt area, agricultural area, this is really interesting that drones are going to be the future of agriculture. Oh, it is. It's absolutely a perfect business case. Now, right now, I know of examples in the U.S. where farmers are using off-the-shelf drones to take aerial shots of fields to give them a bird's eye view of their crop. And it saves them a lot of time, for instance, walking through big weed or corn fields. But that's really a very rudimentary application. Where it gets exciting is when we have autonomous robots, flying machines that may look like small fixed-wing aircraft that are able to cover large areas and they're flying autonomously. That means without a pilot or anybody controlling them along a predefined area and doing all kinds of surveying. And not only are they able to take high definition pictures and video, but when they're loaded up with appropriate sensors, they're able to detect all kinds of conditions. Thanks, Shara. I'm going to play a song. We'll come back to you, and uh, you're going to tell us about some very interesting stuff that's going on at the Australian Robotics Centre. It's Radio West. It's Wake Up with Anthony Tilly across the central wheat belt. Well, we're back talking with futurist Shara Evans about the use of drones in the agricultural sector. And, uh, Shara, you were telling me about some stuff that's happening here in Australia. There's some really interesting work happening at the Australian Centre for Field Robotics in Sydney, where they've designed flying robots that are able to autonomously detect weeds, in particular alligator weeds, because it's one of the invasive weed species that many farmers have a problem with. And these flying robots are able to literally go over an area, detect a weed, and then be followed with smaller hovering robots that might be armed with pesticide or herbicide or other treatments for either weeds or other pests that are detected. And I really think that that's the future of agriculture where you have flying machines that are able to detect things on their own and take action on their own without needing human intervention. That's phenomenal. A huge growth industry, you think, uh, Shara, ripe for innovation? It is absolutely ripe, and I see robots as a service, as something that would be tremendously useful to people in the agriculture sector because robots can be expensive. And if you can imagine that somebody or a company owns a fleet of robots and is able to send them out on an as-a-service basis, it starts to make a lot of sense for farmers to be able to take advantage of this technology, which can greatly increase their crop yield. Great to talk with you. Look forward to talking again soon. It's Radio West.